All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's look at um, let's look at our our theories, Isabelina, of if we're dealing with a linear relation or not. All right. Now, the first thing is it says you know we talked about linear relations. Can we write it? in one of these two formats. And you're looking at this, you say, well, I have this h of x. I don't know what that represents. Um, and then I have ax. Well, actually, I know h of x, right? We, we've talked about function notation. Yeah. So we're talking about a function. Maybe you don't remember, but it's OK. We, that's not going to be a part of it. But even the, let's look at what eliminates it, right? Because I don't know if I can write it in these two formats, right? It might be a little bit iffy on me writing it in these two formats to show that's a linear relation. Let's look at when it's not a linear relation and see if that applies, right? We said that you cannot have a variable in your denominator. So anytime you have a variable in your denominator, is that the case for this function? No. No. So at least it passes the linear relation test on that, right? Then we said you can't have a variable times another variable. So do we have a variable times another variable in yes. this? H times A. Well, that's one thing you got to know. It's in function notation. That means h of x. So we're actually we're dealing with a function. So that actually is not going to be dealing with multiplication. That's a good point. Um, what they're expecting you to do is remember function notation. Do you guys remember last two class periods, actually, we talked about that. Remember, h is the name. x is your input. Remember we talked about that, function notation? So they're expecting you to remember that function notation so you don't get that mixed up or confused. But in this function, we don't have x and y or we don't have a number multiplied by another number. The next thing you guys need to know is, um, is it ra raised to a power that's other than 1? Yes. And yes, because you guys, when, you, when we talk about exponents, hopefully you guys remember the square root of x is equal to x raised to the 1 half power. So well, it's just not 1. It's an act, well, it's less than 1, but it's just not 1, right? For it to be a linear relation, it has to be, all exponents have to be to the first power. So you could say that the function h of x is x to the 1 half plus 3. Is my x, is my variable raised to the first power? No. No. So is it a linear relation? No. No, it's not. All right, that's it.